All right, everybody, welcome to Thursday Bible Study. We're going to continue on in Philippians, and I'm just going to start it. It does go through <clears throat> two verses, 29 and 30, and then chapter 1, and then 10 verses. So let's make sure they're all there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, mm, excuse me, 9, 10. The New Living Translation will leave out some verses. It is more of a corrupted text in the King James. The King James, though, is the best we have. We have to figure out the truth spiritually based off of what the Lord gave us through the Catholic Erasmus, who wrote Textus Receptus, which was then used to write the King James, which is also written by half Catholics. Erasmus was Catholic. He was a humanist. He believed in man over spirit. And um, that's why John 3.16 is falsely translated on purpose why they shoved that bible verse down your throat let's go for you have been given not only the privilege of trusting in christ given i thought we made the free will decision <laughs> for it unto you it is given on behalf of christ now people say given by what he did on the cross we still have to make the free will decision What is given to you? Not only the ability to believe, but to suffer for his sake. Well, when am I going to suffer? What, what do you mean suffer? I thought I'd just make this free will decision and everything's good to go. No, because when you get baptized by the whole, John the Baptist said, one will come after me that will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire the Holy Spirit is when you get the call, the fire is the fiery trials. Remember, I always get this. I can never remember this Bible verse. I'm going to try it again. I'll poke around a little bit. Okay, got it. It's First Peter four twelve. Finally, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial. That's your baptism by fire, folks. When you start getting pulled out of the world, everybody's going to hate you because you're not believing in their free will you're not dragging that christmas tree that pagan tree into your house you don't celebrate birthdays you start coming out of the world and the world will start hating you start separating from you that's why jesus said the world hated me before it hated you but i've called you out of the world therefore the world hateth you which goes back to suffering for his sake now why is it necessary to go through the fiery trials This is he that was in the church in the wilderness on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments. Israel is the church and the church is Israel. That's the church getting the Ten Commandments. It's called the church because Israel, we are grafted in Jews if we are not of that bloodline. And not everybody of that bloodline. I don't want to say that. I'm not. It's very difficult to say. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay um, gray on that. I want to be on the fence on that. We do know that his bloodline, his remnant, is called at the time of the abomination of desolation per Romans 11.25. Just uh, on my main channel or this channel, just go to playlist and look at my Romans 11. 11 study and we detail that for you the holy spirit does having the same conflict which ye saw in me i now bear to be i now here to be in i'm sorry we are in this struggle together we 
You have seen my struggle in the past and you know that I am still in the midst of it. Whew. But that's okay. We'll accept what is written there in that New Living Translation based off what we read in the King James. Have the attitude of Christ. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Well, the Holy Spirit is called the Comforter. The Holy Spirit is also the Spirit of Truth. It is within the truth where you get your comfort. Even when the world starts hating you, you do get comfort from the Holy Spirit. Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. See that one mind? They will have one mind with the beast. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. The whole goat world will have one mind. It is called the hive mind. The hive mind, the hive mind. World of Warcraft, the hive mind, complete guide to seek. Hive mind, secret mount, hive mind, the hive mind. See, all the bees in a hive have one mind with the queen. They're all working together. Beehive symbolism, Catholic Church, Pope. According to history of honeybees, Weebly, besides the use of the honeybees products in the church, the bee as a symbol was used to garner power and draw noble connections by a would-be pope. One mind. See, they're a copycat. Their world is a copycat of our world. That's the beehive, which once everybody's connected, all the goats are connected to the technology and they're handed over to the strong delusion. Notice the crooked cross there, by. Papal gardens revive beehives. They love the bees. Here's the bee symbolism in the Catholic Church, in the gold there. Here's more bee symbolism. There's the beehive, there's the bees. Again, the beehive, bee, one mind. Let's take it a step further now. A beehive has one mind with the queen. A hive mind bee culture at beeculture.com. I guess I'm not the only one from the book Swarm Intelligence, the regulation of the colony to the queen and the queen substance, which has a profound effect. The marvel of hive mind is that no one is in control. Two queens in one hive. A hive contains just one queen bee. <clears throat> Queen bee symbolism in music industry. Here is some information for what does a queen bee represent? According to queen being, 
For us at Queen Being, the Queen Bee represents the personal power that we each embody and our right to be in control of our own worlds. The sweetness of honey and its mystical quality, the magic and complexity of the life cycle. Bees are essential in nature, and they're known as birds of the muses. Queen Bee Symbolism, Beyonce. I just chose randomly. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> you cannot make this stuff up, can you? You just can't. Queen Bee. It's all about the Queen Who's the Queen Bee? Lucifer. Lucifer is the female transgendered version of Satan. It is Mother Earth, the Mother Goddess, the Queen Bee. Look at Beyonce. Look at that. Maybe my subconscious knew that there had been symbolism with Beyonce. Who's that other famous pop singer? Queen Bee symbolism, Lady Gaga. That's not the one I was thinking. I was thinking of another one. Oh, she did another Super Bowl halftime show, and I can't think of who it was. Oh, Katy Perry. Queen Bee symbolism, Katy Perry. I just figured they would have hooked them all up with the Queen Bee symbolism at some point. Queen Bee, the masked singer. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I digressed, didn't I? Sorry about that. So their world is a copycat. Everything they do, we did first through the Lord, loving one another and working together with one mind and purpose. We're connected to the Holy Spirit. They will all be connected to Satan, Lucifer. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble. Thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Talking about sheep to sheep. He's not talking about uh, lost sheep or goats. You don't mesh with the world. Friendship with the world is enmity to God. Friendship with the world is hatred to God. You must have the same attitude that Christ had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, of, instead, he gave up his divine privilege and took humble position as a slave and was born a humble being. And when he appeared in human form, he was humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God elevated him to a place of highest honor and gave him the name above all others that the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth which is where the abyss is in the center of the earth i like the poetry of the king james i want to read that wherefore god hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under the earth love y'all very much Whoops, we got to do Revelation. <laughs> All right, let's go to Revelation 18. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was uh, lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, is become the inhabitation of devils. That's because every human has been overtaken as an avatar. The human host body is nothing. The whole earth is now devils. There are no more people alive in the hold of every foul spirit and cage and every unclean, hateful bird. For all nations have drunken the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth have, have waxed rich through the abundance of her uh, delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye are not partakers of her sins, 
that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her. This is Satan, Lucifer, Mystery, Babylon, and the entire beast system under her Mother Earth, Queen of Heaven, Queen of the Universe, Venus, Astarte, Asherah, Inanna, Gaia, Lucifer. Lucifer is the female transgendered version of Satan. Reward Satan is a shape shape sister shape shifter isn't any wonder that satan himself can transform himself into an angel of light lucifer is light reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works in the cup which she have filled fill to her double for much she have glorified herself and lived delicious delicious y'all i'm i'm taking caffeine so i'm sorry lived deliciously let me slow my mind down and mellow out a little bit so much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart i sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow the queen recently just did this she fulfilled or tried to mimic this bible verse Queen Elizabeth sitting alone at the funeral. And I will say of I sit alone. This is all done on purpose that she was to be alone because of the so-called illness. There's nobody around her. She's still got the ritual. Wearing a mask is a ritual pagan. Pagans wear a mask. When you watch the movie Eyes Wide Shut, you go to that satanic uh, sex ritual. They all have their masks on. Mask wearing is basically job one in deep satanic pagan rituals. And this ritual is for Mother Earth. Cover your mouth. Don't breathe on Mother Earth. There's the Eyes Wide See the Eyes Wide Shut? They put the masks To masquerade initiation and mocking. That's all it is. The characteristics of an initiation ritual. That might be the actual video that I recorded and put on my YouTube that was eventually, they eventually removed it. Unbelievable, right? I'll put this on my main channel too because there's a lot of good content in here. I sit alone, I am no widow. That's what she was. All the world's a stage. They're all performers. All right, love y'all very much.